Moving on to the the actual channels, um, the multifunction knob and switch at the top here is used for navigating the menus, which you'll see in the little windows here. So to use them, you click on them to enter the menu, then you can scroll up and down to actually select what you want. So if you need to change the gain, for example, you can click on that, and then you use the knob to actually in increase or decrease the gain. And by gain, we mean volume. In addition for being used to navigate the menus, the trim, these are also your trim pots for turning up the gain or the trim so you can alter the volume when the fader is at the top. So for example, if this, this one is presenter microphone, so if I needed to turn the volume up on my microphone, so here I am talking and we can see that I'm not really as loud as I really want to be. So if I just twist that one, it automatically adjusts the gain so we can set the volume a bit higher so I can actually um, get where I want to be in terms of the, the levels. The Axior IQ actually has four dedicated outputs, uh, although uh, we tend to only use two of them, which is PGM or Program 1 and PGM Program 2. Um, pro program 1 is almost always the main station output, so that would be what is feeding your transmission chain, whether that's uh, uh, internet encoder, FM or AM or DAB transmitter or just a speaker system. And PGM2 is usually the record output which is used for recording in Myriad. Normally we don't use PGM3 for anything, so we normally have that turned off. And um, if you have an optional phone system, then the phone output allows you to route channels to the phone system as well. Faders are dead simple. You want to put the fader right to the top to turn the channel on. And when you finish, turn it back off again. So if we want to play a jingle, drag it into Myriad 2, fader up, press play. Radio 24-7. This is Hot FM. OK, so using faders is dead simple. You might have a piece of music playing, turn the microphone on. You may also drop the volume on the music while you're talking. And then when you finish, put the music up back up to full. The preview button is what we've referred to as the PFL or Q in other mixes. It basically allows you to listen to what's on the channel without putting the fader up. Obviously, if I want to test to see how loud my voice is, but I don't want it to broadcast, I can't put the fader up because everyone would hear me. So what I would do instead is press the preview button, and now I can talk, and you can see here on this monitor, this um, the smart monitor here, it's changed from um, monitor to preview, and I can see where my volume is. And as we saw previously, we can adjust the gain accordingly. So when we know that our volume's about right, we can take preview off. And now when I turn the microphone on, my levels will be correct. The soft button is a multi-function button used to navigate the menus in the little window here. Basically, whatever is whatever the, the word is above the soft button is what the, the action that that button will take. So currently, because I'm not in a menu, the soft button has mute above it. So when I press the button, it will mute the channel and uh, so turn it off. So this is really useful when you're talking away and you want to cough, you can push the mute button <coughs> and then turn it back on again. But if I was in a menu, now the soft button has changed to be exit. So to exit the menu, I'll just press it again. So the soft button's function changes depending on where you are in the system, but it always does what it says in the window just above it. The on-off uh, buttons and status indicates the, uh, the state of the channel. So currently I've got the mic channels so that they're always either on or off, and you can't turn them on or off accordingly. But the Myriad channels I've actually got set so that I can use them for fader starting, but I can also turn off the channel if I want to. This is a configuration option when you set up your Axia desk or um, when we set it up for you. Okay, so that gives you a, a quick overview of some of the functions available on an Axia system. It's an extremely flexible desk and it can be configured in many, many different ways. So uh, we haven't been able to cover everything can do today at all and um, it certainly can be configured to meet most stations needs. So if you want more information on Axia IQ system, then we'd be happy to provide you with more information about how the desk may help your station and what configuration would work best for your broadcasts.